Ja, var det inte på oss i alla fall. Ja, det går det. Men vad ska jag? Det är sånt här så klart. right now I'm making a video. Uh, a personal video actually that we're going to have uh, at the start of the presentation that shows uh, our story and uh, yeah how we got there. I'm almost done right now, just some color grading and some sound effects and uh, so on. And, yeah, I think it's going to be great. I think the presentation is going to be fine. What are you working on? Not and I thought it was Nice. Uh uh. We are now at Wickerbore Hall working with our uh, presentations uh, to the cost and manufacturing uh, presentations and the design presentations. Yeah. <laughs> How is it going? Well, it's going good. Uh, we have started with the design presentation and we're going to start with the Cost the manufacturing presentation right away. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, when are the presentations? The presentations will be at Friday at 9. I think that's the cost and manufacturing presentation, and the design presentation will be at 10 on Friday. Mm. Yes, so it's a little bit of bad time, but I think it will be. It will be good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we're on our way back to the camp. As you can see, all the other teams are sleeping here as well. About 130 teams, I think. How is it going over your presentation? It's going forward, but. Uh, Kind of slowly. We're struggling with some uh, audio files, but uh, I think we're gonna have a solution on that uh, by the end of this evening, or we just we have to get a solution to this by the end of this evening. And uh, the presentation is tomorrow at 10:15, I think. So it's gonna be a long night. <laughs> No sleep for the wicked. Nope. Now we're in the scrutineering queue, uh, we're in place 23 in the queue, uh, we're really excited, uh, quite scared and we hope we're going to pass through uh, this weekend.
The first test was the safety test. Usually it's the last one, uh, but to make things go faster, uh, we were allowed to take the safety test first. No, they're not pressure. They're not pressure. So that's not The only thing that would happen is it goes on its slot, it could leak. But with a cap like that, it's not going to leak. Okay. It's got a cover here for the feet, yeah? Safety. So you can get all the other jobs done. Yep. If for any reason over the weekend you don't get everything done, mm -hmm. and you, if, if you know, if you don't get it all done, come and see us because then we could probably give you your safety sticker yep. because your college will need to know you've done something. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So the more stickers you get, the more revs you get the other end. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you if you can't. If you don't get them done, come and see us at the end of the weekend. Yep. Then we'll give you a safety sticker so you've got something to show for your work. Okay. Yep. okay? Thank, you. Thank you. Okay, put your wheels back on yep. and then you may go. Okay? Thank you. Thank Where you, you go next, I don't know. You can go wherever you want. We'll ask us for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go wherever you Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bolly Rat. So far, uh, we've been really lucky, or uh, the car is really good. Uh, we have passed the safety inspection and we have passed the chassis inspection. The technical inspection is the hard one. Uh, it consists of nine pages of, uh, of rules that they will check, uh, each and every one of them. Uh, and uh, it's basically every aspect of the car. Well, I am hopeful for the inspection, uh, but I'm a little bit reserved. Uh, this is our first year, uh, we built our first car, uh, and we really hope to get through, but uh, I'm not sure we'll get through, at least on the first, uh, on the first take. If we pass, we'll be able to take the, or perform the noise test and the brake test and the tilt test. And that's basically everything that's between us and driving the car. So we're quite confident that uh, as long as we pass the technical inspection, uh, we think we will pass all the other tests as well. My name is Noel Mohas. What? Noel Mohas. Noel Mohas. Noel Mohas. That's me. So you're a scrutineer here at uh, I am, yes. How did you do the um, So I did former student myself uh, a couple of years ago. I was part of the Bath University racing team. Um, and I loved the event, loved everything about it. And I wanted to make sure I could come back after I'd graduated uh, to give something back to the event to volunteer. Um, so yeah, decided I wanted to volunteer as a scrutineer and put in my application and carry on. Great, uh, just to get a picture of where you got to the scene. Yeah. Uh, so I'm an engineer at McLaren Automotive. Awesome. <laughs> That's a good job. <laughs>
so can you just explain to me a little bit what you're assessing here in the technical test? So this is the uh, tech inspection part of scrutineering. Um, so it's a full overview of every element of the car. Make sure it complies with safety regulations and the rule book. Um, so we cover all the chassis elements, so the suspension, make sure that it looks uh, safe, complies uh, all the powertrain elements as well. Um, make sure that when the driver's in the car, uh, he can get out in a uh, safe amount of time. So it covers everything um, just to make sure that these cars are safe when they go out on track. Yeah, so we had a car in this morning, they were with us for quite a while, just small um, issues here and there, but that's what you expect with uh, student built cars, um, they're never going to be perfect, um, but that's why we're here, to make sure that we can just pick up on anything that needs to be made uh, better to improve them and make sure that they're okay when they go out on track. Uh, from your experience, how many get through the technical in the first go? Oh, in the first go, not many. Um, I couldn't give you a number, but uh, it's, it's quite an achievement, I think. Pretty impressive, first year car. Yeah, yeah. Team. Through first day, yeah, yeah. It's very impressive. Thank you. Egress was 4.95 as well. Yeah. Back in a <laughs> yeah. Very well, has to be said. Um, for a first time car, I'm very surprised. Uh, yet a few things to sort out, but nothing too major. Um, but yeah, like really well done. Um, very impressive. So done, I think. Okay, so yeah, right. Yeah. It was amazing. We got through the three uh, difficult uh, tests on our first attempt. And. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, what's, uh, what's the plan going for right now? Oh, okay. uh, now it's going to uh, fill it up with gas and go to the tip <laughs> test. And further on we are going for uh, the noise test and uh, the brake test. So uh, everything is looking marvellous. <laughs> yes. How do you think the tip test and, uh, will go? Absolutely fine. We are so uh, sure of it now. And uh, yeah, it's just an amazing feeling to be uh, going this far. First day, first attempt. First attempt about everything, right? Yeah. yeah. So you've uh, been through the car on the whole uh, technical inspection now? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Uh, how was the technical inspection? Well, they, they start out with a, a, sch a schematic where they have just uh, they go over each point and then they check out if it's okay or not. And if it's not okay, you have to go back to the pit and, uh, and fix it. Yeah. Basically. But, as we saw, we didn't have actually any troubles at all. We could fix everything right inside the scrutineering bay, and that saved a lot of time, so we didn't have to go back. So, uh, what does that have to say in terms of the design that you fix it there? Was it just small errors? Yeah, it was small errors. It was like bushings for the exhaust tank. There was uh, some bolts that needed to have uh, another type of uh, nut on it, and uh, the rest of it was just minor details, nothing big. We passed the chassis. Uh, uh, test easily as well as the uh, MSA 
there was no problems, just go straight through. And that's fantastic. For a first year team, that's everything we could have wanted. and we passed all the tests and that is uh, very good of course yes 